Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about converting decimals to fractions. So, in our previous video, we convert fractions to decimals. Ngayon naman, decimals to fractions. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately convert terminating decimals to fractions and accurately convert repeating non-terminating decimals to fractions. So, first, we have converting terminating decimals to fractions. So, when we say terminating decimals, those are decimals um, na may ending, okay? It stops uh, just like 0 0.538. So, yung 8, yung last digit niya, okay? So, convert 0 0.538 to fraction. So, notice that 8 is in thousands, okay? So, if when we convert this into fraction, that becomes 538. So, 538, 538, and then over, kung ilang zero yan, yun lang ilalagay nyo sa denominator. So, that's 1, tapos tatlong zero. So, that's 1,000, okay? And then, um, express lang natin in lowest terms. Notice that we have here 8 and we have 1,000. So, parang divisible siya by 2, di ba? So, divide me by 2. So, you have 269 um, over 500. Okay? So, 269 over 500, that's the lowest term. So, therefore, 0 0.538 equals 269 over 500. So, this is now the fraction form of this decimal. Next, uh, converting repeating non-terminating decimals to fractions. So, when we say repeating, um, yung last digit or your last two digits or yung mga digits sa decimals, nagre-repeat. Gaya nitong 0 0.24. Non-terminating, then ibig sabihin, it never stops. It goes on and on. So, sa example na 0 0.24 bar, meaning yan, 0 0.24242424244 so and so on. It never stops. Okay, paulit-ulit lang siya. So, how do we convert decimals like that? So, una, we have here n. We take n equals 0 0.24 bar. Okay, ito siya. Okay, ito yan. Notice na yung nire-repeat na decimals or yung numbers, we have dalawa. Okay, we have two digits that are being repeated. So, two and four, two digits. So, therefore... We are going to multiply n by 100. Bakit 100? Kasi dalawang digits yan. Dalawang digits 2 and 4. And so, we have here 2, 0. Kung isang digit lang ang nare-repeat, halimbawa, point, uh, 2 bar. So, 10 lang ang i-multiply natin sa n. Okay? So, meaning that's 100n, 100 times n. So, meaning that's 100 times 0.24 bar. So, itong 0. 242424 2, 2, 4, 2, 4, magiging oh ganito na siya i-move natin yan ng dalawa kasi magmo-multiply tayo ng 100 dalawang zero so move natin yan magiging 24.2424244 okay or magiging 24.24 24 bar okay right so we have so galing dito pupunta tayo dito right so yung 100n ayan equals this one, ito, E minus lang natin dito sa N natin. Dito siya. Okay? So, that's minus N equals, ito siya, o, oh, 0 0.2424. Or, just um, 100N equals 24.24 .24 bar, and minus N, ito, minus N equals 0 0.24 bar. Pareho lang yun sila. So, i-cancel out mo yun kasi, Minus yan, di ba? 100N minus N, that's 99N. 24.2424 minus 0 0.2424. So, wala na ito. Okay? Wala na yan. Crash out. So, magiging 24 na siya. Right? 24. And so, para N na lang ang maiwan dito, i-divide natin yan by 99. So, para ma-cancel out yung 99, N na lang siya. Notice here, N na lang. Tapos, yung 24, i-divide din natin sa 99. Kaya, we have n equals 24 over 99. So, eto na siya eh. Eto na siya. Ilo-lowest term lang natin. Notice na si 24 is divisible by 
um, divisible by 3 and also 99 is also divisible by 3 so that's 8 over 33 is the lowest term so therefore 0 0.24 bar is equal to 8 over 33 okay let's have an example convert 1.248 into mixed number notice that this is a terminating decimal so pwede natin siyang gamitan ng mga powers of 10 sa denominator so we have uh, set aside the whole number part o, meron tayong whole number dito okay set aside natin yan remove the decimal point and make the resulting number the numerator of the fraction so 248 it becomes the numerator. Okay. Ano ang denominator natin? Notice, we have three digits. So, maglalagay tayo ng 1. And then, we add three zeros. 1, 2, 3. So, magiging 1,000 siya. Okay? So, that's 0 0.248. That is 248 over 1,000. Notice that, um, pwede pa natin itong ma-express in lowest terms. ba? Lowest terms natin yan. And so, simplest form, lowest terms, pareho lang. So, that's equal to 31 over 125. So, therefore, 1.248 equals 1 and 31 over 125. Example number 2. Let's convert 2.27 bar to fractions. Notice that this is um, a repeating and non-terminating decimal, okay? So, we take this, okay, 27 bar, set aside natin yung 2, okay? So, let n be the given decimal number. Ito muna ang n natin, ayan. So, n equals 0 0.27. Pwede nang wala ito actually. Pwede nang wala yan. Pwede nang ito na lang. So, 0 0.27 bar. And so, we have here two digits that are being repeated. So, we multiply n by 100. Okay? And so, that is, oh, uh, ayan. So, multiply n by the multiple of 10 depending on the number of repeating digits. So, we have here two digits. If there is only one repeating digit, multiply n by 10. But if there are two digits, multiply n by 100 and so on. Right? So, we have here 0 0.27, two digits are being repeated. So, we multiply n by 100. And so, that makes it 27.2727 or 27.27 bar. Okay? Then, the next step is to subtract n from 100n. So, yung 100n natin kanina equals this one. Subtract lang natin dun sa n. Saan kinuha yan? Of course, itong 100N, ito yan. Ayan. Itong negative, itong N naman, yung original, ito siya. O, oh, ito siya. Right? And so, pag subtract natin yan, 100N minus N, that's 99N. Okay? 27.27 bar minus 0 0.27 bar. Of course, makancel out na yan. So, ang may iwan 27. We divide both sides by 99. Divide this by 99 as well para pareho sila. So, cancel out yan ang may iwan si n na lang. So, magiging n equals 27 over 99. And so, express your final answer in lowest terms. So, magiging 3 over 11. Okay? 3 over 11. So, they are, they are both divisible by 9. So, uh, 3 over 11 and lowest terms. Therefore, 2.27 bar is equal to, take note, this is just 27 bar lang ito ha. Meron pa tayong 2 na sinet aside. So, that's 2 and 3 over 11. Ito. So, individual practice, we have uh, convert 6.12 into a mixed number. Number 2, convert 5.83 bar to mixed number. Okay, so you can go ahead and pause this video and try it yourself. After that, uh, you can play it again. You can resume and check your answers. So I believe you have already solved um, numbers 1 and 2, the individual practice. So let's go ahead and check your answers. So this is the answer to number 1, 6.12. 
of course, this is a terminating decimal, so we, uh, we can express it or we can use uh, the power of 10 na denominator. So, we have iset aside lang natin yung 6, so andito na si 6. And so, we have 12 over kasi dalawang uh, digits yan, so dalawang zero sa denominator. So, 12 over 100. And then, lowest terms ng, lowest term ng 12 over 100, that's 3 over 25. So, we have 6 and 3 over 25. Number 2, convert 5.83 bar to mixed number. So, we take this as our n. So, let n equal 0 0.83 bar. And so, since dalawang digits ang inulit, then we are going to multiply n by 100. Okay? So, that's 100 n equals, of course, 83.83 .83 bar. And next nyan is subtract. So, we have 100n equals 83.83 .83 bar. Ito na siya. Minus lang natin dito. Ayan. So, this is 99n. 99n na lang. 100 minus n. 99n na lang siya. And so, cancel itong dalawa. 83 minus 0. That's 83, di ba? So, 99n equals 83. And so, i-divide lang natin both sides ng 99. Para makancel out yung 99 dyan. 99. Okay. And so, we have here N. N na lang ang naiwan. So, that's N equals 83 over 99. Uh, lowest term nito wala na yata. So, therefore, 5.83 bar is equal to 5 and 83 over 99. Bakit naging 5? 83 over 99 lang yan, mama. Oh, take note. We set aside 5. Okay, yung 83 over 99, that's just the 83.83 .83 bar. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching.